Hopefully now you understand the never ending process of developing your technique and why you want to bring your body up to the paddle and not rip through the water with your arms. Moving forward, we can talk about the phases of the stroke. The first part of the stroke that I want to talk about is the reach. This is the distance you are reaching forward to put your blade in the water. You want to reach as far as possible each time you stroke. However, do not reach so far that you become off balance. You need to reach only as far as you feel comfortable. Losing your balance is counterproductive to developing a fluid and powerful stroke. On the other end of the spectrum is not reaching far enough. I refer to this mistake in technique as T-Rex arms. Have you ever seen a T-Rex paddle? They have short, stubby arms. They do not reach very far. Make sure you are attaining full extension with your bottom arm while relaxing the grip on your paddle and the rest of your body. A tight grip with a tense body will not allow you to reach as far as possible. Your top elbow should be slightly bent during this phase to help produce more reach. Bring your top hand towards your ear to get the motion for bending the elbow. As in the entire stroke, a lack of mobility will restrict your movement and prevent you from getting maximum reach, rotation, and power. Use the information on mobility throughout PaddleSociety.com to help improve your range of motion through athletic movements. A good drill to help improve your reach is to reach your paddle to the front of the stroke and mark your board with a piece of tape where the paddle enters the water comfortably. This is your baseline reach. Make an effort to reach this mark on your board in your stand-up paddle technique in training sessions. If your reach is too short, work on extending your reach past the tape with each practice session. Mm -hmm.